Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. <laughs> hey, Cleaning Nation, good to uh, virtually see you, hear you, <laughs> be with you. Excited to jump in. Um, today, we are talking about how to pick the right name for your cleaning company. I know that's a, a, sp a specific little topic, and some of you might already say, well, I've already got a name. Um, well, we're going to dive into a bunch of other issues about being congruent and employees and, and vendors and kind of have everything work together. So this is, I promise we're going to do something fun. The reason we're talking about this is in our Millionaire Alliance and our lead group, um, we're constantly talking with people who are like, I don't know if I should have, if, you know, especially if I'm picking a new niche, do I have to change my name? Is my name good? Can I keep my name and have another name? We're going to talk about all that today and get you guys all lined out. So the problem is so many times, all the time, every time, 100% of the time, we make our business names right when we start our business, before we know what we're doing, right? Hey, uh, Melissa, good to see you, sister. Um, like one of our Millionaire Mastermind guys, uh, two, uh, uh, two, two guys in a broom or something like that, and there's no guys. He has ladies doing all the cleaning. There's no broom, right? So it made sense. Hey, Abby Lynn, good to see you. TJ, good to have you. Uh, anyway, all that to say, we always make our names at the very beginning of our company or if we buy a company that just has nothing to do with our reality or what we want to do. And as we grow in terms of getting clarity on who we want to serve and what we want to do and who our customers are going to be and who we're going to be as a company and all that good stuff, we have kind of evolved our vision, but our name stays exactly the same. Hey, Bunny Davis. Hey, Sydney. Good. So many cool people on here. Glad to see y'all. Um, so we're going to talk about how to fix that and if you should fix that and what if it's a big deal to fix that. And the problem is, it gives you a lack of alignment with your customers, your employees, yourself, the universe, right? If you're just, I remember one of the very first companies I bought was called Del Rico Custom Fabric Design and Manufacturing. Um, Del Rico Custom Fabric Design and Manufacturing. <laughs> it's just such a terrible name. I, I connected with it zero and every day of my life I own that company a third of a percent of me was just unhappy that I had to. And people said, what's, oh, what do you do? I have a company. What's it called? Del Rico Custom Fabric Design and Manufacturing. Um, could you imagine being, you know, email? That was way back when. I don't think email is huge, but Mike at Del Rico Custom Fabric Design and Manufacturing. Uh, it was just, I had no connection with it. I should have changed it. And I didn't because I didn't know. Uh, and TJ says, that's a mouthful. It is. Try saying it all day, every day. It's the worst. And the, 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 pro the employees didn't resonate. Nobody resonated. Nobody remembered it, right? And then when I started my construction company, we called it Killer Shade. And the cool thing is it was just because we didn't want to wear too, uh, I was too scared to call it badass shade. But um, the cool thing is everybody remembered that name all the time, liked it or hated it. I remember I stood behind it. I love it. I loved it. And my life was just 12% better because I had a name that, that resonated with me and actually made a, a mistake as opposed to the exact opposite, which is every time I say it, a little piece of me dies. So, uh, and just think of that. When you start getting dozens of employees and hundreds of customers and vendors and all that, you want them to associate with something that you're excited about and you're proud of. And it's your company, so you can have it any way you want. There's no need you should ever keep a, a name that you don't like. All right, so the first thing we've got to get over is the name's got to be me, right? Um, you know, I should be Mike's Cleaning, right? Or, you know, you know Schroeder's Cleaning. Yeah, I got you, Sydney. I see you. Um, she's one of our, our members on live here. Anyway, that's great, but the problem is your customer's favorite subject is them and their least favorite subject is you, right? So we want to make sure that um, uh, that, sorry, I, I can't, I got to stop looking at the chat because it, it, it throws me off. But the, the customers want to talk about them and their pain and what's going on in their world and we make it about us. A, we're telling them it's about us and B, it doesn't connect with anyone, right? So again, it's a difference for all of you guys between Mike's coaching, which I'd imagine would be a very little interest to you and grow my cleaning company, which for people that have a cleaning company would like to grow it, it's a lot of interest, right? So um, right off the bat, just by introducing yourself with the right name, you can um, uh, engage the right people in the wrong name. You can uh, turn off the wrong people. Hey, Michelle, good to have you, sister. All right, so we got to get off the name has to be me. It doesn't have to be. We're going to talk about what it should be. Uh, the other thing is if I'm too specific, I'm stuck, right? Like for Grow My Cleaning Company. Well, guess what? If my name is going to be Grow My Cleaning Company, I'm stuck. And I'm doing huge air quotes for those of you just listening on the podcast with uh, just being able to serve owners of cleaning companies. Well, guess what? Two things. One, 
Um, I love having this niche and it calls you guys out every single time I say it, grow my cleaning company. It's, it's the podcast. It's, our, it's everything, right? So you guys know exactly who it is. And I'm totally fine being stuck with you guys because I love you. The thing is, if I was general and just called Mike's coaching, no one would know what that means or care, right? But as soon as I say, um, grow my cleaning company, people know exactly what it is. And guess what? Um, if you, if I did want to serve another audience, I could just have another D DBA doing business ads, right? Our actually, our corporate name isn't Grow My Cleaning Company. It's Freaking Genius LLC doing business as Grow My Cleaning Company. So if I wanted to have another one, I could just add another DBA, right? So don't, but again, when we say general, like Mike's Cleaning, that really doesn't tell anything. Is it a maid service? Is it a commercial cleaning company? Whereas if I say Mike's, you know, um, dual income family paradise <laughs> that calls out right away who it is or Mike's car dealership profit maker or whatever I want to call it, um, then exactly I'm calling them off right off the bat. So always talk about their favorite subject, which is them, not your, their least favorite subject, which is you. Um, the next thing people do, so, and don't worry about being too specific. We can always change it later, add something later, but um, you're never going to go wrong calling your folks out. Um, okay. The next thing is people think, oh, clever is the way to go, right? My least favorite thing. And, and I'm sorry for any of you out there that this is you, you know, we don't cut corners. We clean them or made to order, but made is spelled M-A-I-D as opposed to M-A-D-E, right? Clever's fine, there's nothing wrong with it, um, although it's debatable. Some, <laughs> your, one man's clever is another man's, eh, eh. <laughs> so be careful of the clever. But the other one is, um, you wanna be clear first and then clever. Okay, so clever's fine, but be clear first. So you've got to be like killer shade. It's really clear what we did. We made shade structures, big, fancy, sexy, twisty shade structures. And we thought they were killer. And we wanted the world to know that they were killer. And right off the bat, they knew that we are we weren't boring, right? And some people might go, oh, I want an impressive, you know, conservative sounding company. Fine, they're not for us. Uh, grow my cleaning company. Right off the bat, you know exactly what we're doing. And trust me, grow my cleaning company, it's boring, right? I, I like killer shade. It was a lot more fun, but it's clear, right? So if I could think of a way to call out you guys and your pain with my name and be clever, I guarantee I'd do that. But I couldn't, right? So I could either have some funny, clever thing that people liked and had no clue what I did, or I could be clear. I chose clear. So I'm always going to encourage you to be clear first. And then if you can still be clever on top of that, God bless you. Go get them. Um, all right, Melissa's busted my chops out here, but I will let that slide. Oh, yeah. She says, maids to envy, ha ha. Clever maids to envy, <laughs> or maids to Nevada. Cheesy up in here. Preach it, sister. Uh, and I love you. Yeah, everyone, uh, feel free in the chat to share your, your favorite names that you love or, or your least favorite names or ask, and I'll, I'll try and coach you up best I can. Um, all right, so another thing is people think, oh, my name's not that big of a deal. It's not going to affect my ability to get clients or the quality of those clients. Okay, let's, let's just take that out for a test spin. I'm going to say a word, and you guys let me know in the chat for the live folks, and just uh, you have to give me feedback later, what you feel when you hear the word I'm going to say. Walmart. Walmart. I'm guessing that elicits some very specific feelings in what you think of, right? Very, very rarely can I say the word Walmart to somebody and they don't have some feeling. And again, a lot of you guys go, well, yeah, but that's because I sell cheap stuff and blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Just say you've never heard of Walmart before. James says happy. <laughs> we got some low class folks like me in here. That's how I was raised in the hood, baby. We loved us some Walmart. We couldn't afford Walmart. We had to go to the cheaper place. Um, but even if you hadn't heard of that, it sounds like a mart where you can purchase walls, right? Yeah, city says cheap. That's what most folks... Uh, are going to think of. Um, so uh, dirty, ouch, sorry, Walmart, we love you. Uh, and I, I go, we got a nice new Walmart by my house and I'm pretty sure me and my wife shop there periodically. So not knocking it, but just what it elicits, um, <laughs> Evie Lynn says Walmartians. So obviously if you're an insane person like our friend Evie Lynn, uh, you can say crazy stuff like that. So Walmart is gonna elicit one thing and if you name your company something like that, that's gonna have reverberations for the community. What if I say a different name? Nordstrom's, Mercedes-Benz, right? My kid even knows what Mercedes-Benz is. And I'll say, hey, I'll be, we, my wife has a Mercedes. And instead of Mercedes, he goes, no, daddy, it's a Mercedes-Benz. Um, so when you start thinking, my name won't affect not only your ability to get clients, but the quality of those clients um, just think of Mercedes Benz or Nordstrom and then think of Walmart and think of if that affects how you feel when you walk in or how you're going to, uh, uh interact with those folks. 
Um, and again, if I, if you asked what I did and I said, I have a coaching company called Michelle says classy. Um, I absolutely feel that way. Love the Nordstrom's love the Mercedes. Um, if I said I have a company called Mike's coaching, would you know if you were my Sydney says expensive? That's exactly right. I got to find a way to make grow my cleaning company sound more expensive. Feel free to give me in the chat. I like to clear, but it doesn't sound expensive or cheap. I want it to sound expensive. Um, maybe I should call it grow my cleaning company premium or platinum. <laughs> um, but if I said, if you asked me what I did, I said I had a company called Mike's coaching. If you were my ideal client, would you know? You'd have no clue, right? Now, how about I said, oh, I own a, a, a coaching company called Grow My Cleaning Company. Immediately, I promise if you have a cleaning company, you have follow-up questions, right? And if you don't have a cleaning company, you know immediately this isn't for you. How about if I were gonna ask you to give me a referral for Mike's coaching company? That's gonna be really tough of what, what am I looking for? How would that look like? How do I do it? Versus, hey, I need a referral. Or would you like to refer uh, someone to Grow My Cleaning Company? much easier to refer um elite that's what we already had the elite group the city says we should call it elite that is our elite group the, the the folks that we have in our program are the elite group and we love them so um grow my platinum cleaning company i love you guys are the best so another thing is well okay fine i get how it's going to affect customers but it's not going to affect employees or vendors or anybody else no one else is going to care the reality is Let's just think about it. When the company name is you, and actually uh, Sydney, I think on one of our coaching calls last time, explained to me how the employees really would be missed, are gonna align with the name that you give them. So if my company's called Mike's Coaching, I'm intentionally or unintentionally, but certainly consciously or subconsciously telling all my employees, my vendors, the universe, it's all about me. It's Mike's Coaching, Mike's the star, I'm important, right? If I call Grow My Cleaning Company, hopefully they're going to get it's about my customers and it's about my customers growing and what's important. So when I'm looking to hire somebody. Um, it's going to attract a different kind of person who's attracted to, you know, camping cleaning or, or mic cleaning versus, um, you know, elite cleaning or um, white glove cleaning or um, car dealer cleaning or um, golf course cleaning or golf course specialists or whatever the case may be. So it really kind of does propagate itself top to bottom throughout your business. And you want to make sure you take charge of that. And again, I think a lot of the reason people don't change their name is fear, right? Like, oh my gosh, it's going to be a big deal. I've spent all this money on business card or shirts or blah, 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 blah. Let me encourage you the way that we walk people through in our program is when you're going to do this, you don't have to throw out the old thing, right? A lot of you don't even know. I, have a, I used to have a podcast called it's still up. You can go there now. Freaking genius or the freaking genius did over a hundred episodes and I just interviewed really great people that were interesting to me. Um, and uh, guess what? When I decided I wanted to focus only on owners of cleaning companies as opposed to uh, uh, just any owners, I didn't shut that thing down. I didn't throw anything in the garbage. I just started growing my cleaning company, started doing that. So you can keep your big corporate entity. You don't have to throw anything away. You don't have to do anything. Like if they're shirts, just wait till they wear out, right? If they're business cards, wait till you run out of them. Most everything you're gonna you kind of dispense of anyway. So you can just start calling yourself a different thing. Um, so the perfect, Evie Lynn said clean for a day. That's a perfect example of um, clever, like clean for a day, queen for a day, but not clear. I don't know what that means. That's going to confuse me. And I, I, hopefully I'm, I'm saying this because I love you, Evie Lynn. Hopefully she was giving an example of clever, but not clear. I'm like, does that mean they clean only during the day or they clean for one day, but then they stop? It's not going to be clean tomorrow. It's very confusing to me as a customer, but very clever. All right. So what the heck were we talking about? Um, yes. When you, the fear of changing your name, you can just literally start, you can just buy cleanforaday.com or whatever it is.com and just start doing, start sending stuff to it. You don't have to throw anything away. You don't have to make a huge fuss. You don't have to go overboard. So when you start thinking about this, instead of thinking, I have to shut this down or throw this away or all the negative things associated, just start thinking about the positive things that you have of like, oh, I'm going to start being clear with my customers of who I am. And believe it or not, just like we talked about earlier, your customer's favorite subject is them. So when you start talking about them more, they're not going to respond negatively. And their least favorite subject is you. So no one's going to even ask or care. You think like the world's going to be like, oh my gosh, you changed your name. I'm, I'm a, nobody knows. Nobody cares. They're all thinking about them. They got their own thing going on. So I promise you, if you just start using your more clear, effective name, you don't have to throw anything out, turn it all off. You can just do, you just do an experiment. If it doesn't work, you can stop it. But um, you don't have to make it a bigger deal than it is. And most of the people I've walked, every person I've walked through this at the end goes, you know what? I was really stressed when you did it. You told me to be okay. And I did it and it was okay. <laughs> I was, I made it a bigger deal than it needed to be. So don't do that. Um, the opportunity is 
instead of making it about you or being clever, you want to call out your client and call out their biggest pain. And we talk about this all the time, really understanding who your customer is, what's important to them and, and working with them in their pain. Um, and that's what we do. Like it's not just cleaning company or have a cleaning company. It's grow my cleaning company, right? If my name was how to start a cleaning company, well then I'm going to go a whole different type of customer than a million dollar cleaning company or $20 million cleaning company or how to grow my cleaning company. Right? So, those are all different pains. Start a cleaning company is a different pain than grow my cleaning company is a different pain than, um, you know, million dollar cleaning company. So you want to make sure that you are not only just calling out your client and their name, which is great, but also their biggest pain. So the reality is the cool thing about all this is once you get this right, everything gets just a little more easier, just a little easier, just a little more fun. Um, and your business will be just a little bit more systematized and a little bit more together. And that's really what we do as owners is just take little pieces like this all the time that are maybe a B or a C or a D or an F and we make them an A. We just upgrade top grade, make everything just a little better and we do it systematically and we go top to bottom. And if you do it in order, you look back and you go, holy crap, I've got a real business that is, uh, you know, scalable, dependable, repeatable. And it's this thing that I've got. So if that's what you want to do, if you'd like to take a deep dive into your business and all of your systems that you are going to need to have the well-oiled machine that you can see so clearly and so picture you picture so perfectly in your head, go to growmycleaningcompany.com. See how handy it is right away. You know what I do? Growmycleaningcompany.com. Go there. There is a completely complimentary for you, um, free on-demand training right at the top. It is phenomenal. It's going to give you the five shifts that you need to make. And we will, that is the beginning of the system that we're going to help you to, um, create the systems and processes you need in your business. So if you'd like to take a deep dive and want to do that, we have, we have a system to do that. It all starts with a free training at growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now. Uh, you will love it. There's uh, an opportunity at the end to go even further. Uh, the lovely Anna, who I keep wanting to get onto a podcast. She's our new operations manager, but she's shy. Put it up there. Growmycleaningcompany.com is where you want to go. So again, just make sure, don't make a big deal about this. If you don't love your company, doesn't have to big deal or sorry, not love your company. Hopefully if you don't love your company, we have a whole, that's a whole different other podcast for another day. But if you love your company, but not the name, um, don't make a big deal about it. Find your customer, what they're paying, call them out. Don't make a big deal. And again, go to growmycleaningcompany.com. If you'd like some help and support on that journey, we are here for you. Uh, what sounds scary and feels scary for you guys is just a Tuesday for us. We're here to help. Can't wait to talk to you soon. See ya. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.